Habia. Thanks, Mibara, for, for allowing us to shoot online into your home. Um, it's been a while. Um, football misses you. I don't know if you miss football. <laughs> yeah, recently I, I missed a lot. You know, I I attended the playoffs here, the Mineval, the Great Africa playoffs. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, so it was interesting to 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 meet up with the guys that I used to play with, previous coaches, and uh, mm -hmm. catching up with them, and you know, checking also the progress of the. Uh, our league and the talent that we have mm -hmm. in South Africa. So it was really interesting and, you know, I felt like I was still playing, you know. Yeah. Some of the situation that you see when they feel there, you're like, oh, if yeah. was there, the boy was supposed to do so. But then it's, it's very difficult, you know, when, you, when you're inside there. So yeah. sometimes yeah. you can't blame them mm -hmm. because we, we come from different backgrounds, especially development. I think yeah, it's not playing a, a big, in, important role in mm -hmm. our country and nowadays. So mm -hmm. yeah, no. So so what does Abia do? I mean, we, we last saw you playing at Platinum Stars, something like 2017-2018 season. What do you do now? No, recently you know, I was keeping busy with the academy boys. You know, just training and then you know. Trying to, to give back. You know, which, academy, which academy is that? It's my uncle's academy, Nali Academy. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they produce a lot of players, you know. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to help these young guys, you know, just just to to keep them busy, you know. Yeah. Have yeah. the similar, you know, opportunities like we, we had, you know, and so we can see what they can do. But most importantly, that their education also plays an important role because out of 10, maybe one uh, can be selected to go yeah. play professional. So that's true. We, we try to tell them they must, you know, balance everything. So mm -hmm. that's what they've been keeping me busy. And then, you know, home with the family. Also, yes. because it's been like you know, almost uh, 15 yeah. years, yeah, playing soccer and, you know, changing provinces. So mm -hmm. for the past two, three years, uh, I've been relaxed and then, yeah. Just being at home, and just being at home. Let's let's go back to to Platinum Stars. Um, when when you were there, the club got sold to that that franchise, Akeg Umoya. Yes, yes. And your career ended there. What what happened there? Um, were you part of? You know, when clubs get sold, statuses get sold, mm -hmm. that the new owners would say, "We take in the club, or we take in the players, or we are not." What was the situation there, and how did you end up not? being part of Cape Moya back You know, what happened there, um, they told us that the team has been sold to Petroleum something, mm -hmm. yeah, and then uh, I think Roger was uh, the I CEO yes, yeah, yes. of the team, and then, yeah, when the season ends, they started their pre-season that side, and then we didn't have any idea, I think it was five or six of us, senior players and then so we, 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 we called and then you know just to follow the steps that no we want to go play and everything because I I was left with I think one year and an option. Okay. And my contract. contract. Yeah. And then I think after two weeks or so then we, we went to, to to Cape Town. Mm. Yeah. The welcoming was not that good but you know coming from development, you know they, they taught us to be strong in yeah. some situations. Well, what do you mean the welcoming was not good? It was tough because uh, it was clearly that they, they didn't need us, you know. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, they didn't need us there and then they would tell us about the, the monies and everything. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, no, it's fine, but how, how do we resolve this? Because we want to play soccer and mm -hmm. yeah, we did a lot of tests. That I've never done before in soccer. Is it? What kind of test? What do you mean? Test? <sighs> it was a speed test. Oh, yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, just checking if you are fit enough. Yeah, you, you can't play NFD. You you old now. You see, oh, okay. yeah, <laughs> those kind of situations, and then yeah, and then we ended up, you know, I ended up asking, you know, uh, Roger, and then I was like, no. It will it will be bad if uh, you keep me here because now I'll be a bad influence to these youngsters. 
they really look up to, to me and then you know if I come every day with a negative attitude to them then it will rub off to them yeah, so sure. let's let's settle whatever that we need to settle so that we can move and part ways mm. yeah that's what happened that's what, yeah they paid you for your contract you know, yeah they paid me for my contract yeah and I wasn't even ready to go with that side because we 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 were told that the team will be based will be still based in uh, Austin, yeah. in Austin back. Okay. So when we moved, we we had to do arrangement for accommodations and so and then on the side, family, yeah. Yeah. Crew, the the kids, yeah. they were going to school and everything. So it was really short notice for for some of us. Then uh, that's what we decided. Now let's part ways and then. And and how did you move on? Because then you haven't played for any other club after that. Uh, I think the opportunities they didn't come that time, you know. And you know, I was I was even frustrated because even this that season I didn't play a lot of games. I think I played three games of. So yeah, yeah. with with platinum stars, so the frustration was then you know ended up hating the the game. So mm -hmm. it was like yeah, no, I don't want to do this, and mm -hmm. you know going somewhere or calling people, and they will tell you no, no, you're very expensive, and mm -hmm. we can't afford you. And so this is even before you guys talk about how much you would want. I said yeah, people yeah, just yeah, assume yeah, that yeah. you know they check your background you coming from Kizachi's Platinum Stars and then so you used to these salaries that we, we don't know, we heard about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, ended up saying no, I must just, you know, relax, take a break and see yeah, what 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 can be done after, you know, a few years and but it's and, and you've been on that break since you haven't played. Before. Yeah, yeah, I've been that break, so yeah. Have you retired? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. So, so what? What are you thinking? What's happening? I mean, a lot of guys have, we assume, agents or managers who help, help you guys get clubs. Um, what's your situation there, or what was your situation at the time? In terms of, did you have anybody helping you try find no, clubs? No, no, didn't no. You know? Since yeah, since since from my days with Golden Arrows. I never had an agent, oh, okay. so I was doing things for, for myself and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work because yeah. now you, you can't just pick up a phone and call Kaiser yeah. you know, <laughs> or call Mr. Uh, Chairman. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I did try to call you know, a few of the coaches that uh, they used to coach me. Okay. So some of them, unfortunately, they didn't have teams. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. It was a bit difficult. Those who wanted me, they didn't have power, okay. you know, to bring people because yes. of the pressure that they had. Maybe the team was not doing well, and mm. so. But going to train with the teams and everything, I I didn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So so, Abia has not played in like since 2017, 2018. You are what 34 now. You still I mean, you still look like you could still play. Um. If the opportunity arose, would you take it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think the break that I took, I'm, I'm, I'm ready now to, to go back, you know, start somewhere. Maybe, you know, Glad Africa or DSTV Premier League. Yeah, uh, I think I can, I can still offer, you know, a few more years, three or four years again, and then and see after what I can do to just to give back to the game, you know, yeah, yeah. go to management or do some, you know, I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I mean, like you say, you, you're helping at your academy, surely you yeah. could even help if the club's opportunities are there after you play. Yeah. What, what do you miss the most, though, about playing? Yeah, I think winning, winning, you know, uh, after game when you win trophies, you know, and then, you know, having those colleagues, the crazy ones, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, just training, just to be on that environment, you know, and, 
seeing you know um, also you know motivating the youngsters you know to 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 become the best players in in this country and then yeah most of the time I miss those okay. you yeah know. you 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 know you've had a fairly good career you say you haven't retired but when you when you look back at your career um, are you happy with how things have gone from when you started at Golden Arrows until when you got to Platinum Stars? I think towards the end, especially in Platinum Stars, that's when I, I, I thought things didn't go well because things were okay for, 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 for the past years. Mm -hmm. And then when things are not going well with um, Platinum Stars, then I was like demotivated also. I was like, what's happening? Maybe I'm getting old now, you know. <laughs> and, but I was happy. The sad thing, it was the team was not doing well. And, you know, it was going for a uh, two yeah. yeah, and then thinking that maybe I can help, I can do something. But, you know, the people who were in charge, they didn't believe, you know, yeah. in, in, in our capabilities that maybe we can do such. Mm -hmm. So, it was it was it was the tough one, you know. Yeah. Ended up wanted to go immediately, you know, just yeah, to go just home. To go. Yeah, because I couldn't stand to see you know the team going down like that with uh, a lot of players that we had and yeah. good players. So I didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you 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 came into into football at Eros, and I I see you you have your, your <laughs> Eros jersey hanging yeah. on the wall there. Um, that club must have a special place in your heart. Yes, yes. I, they gave me opportunity, you know, mm -hmm. to to showcase my talent uh, in PSL because I was I was with Pirates for I think it was eight years. And then I got promoted to first team, mm -hmm. but it was tough there because now it we, it was fifty of us, yeah. you know, and. You check your, your, your competitors there. You have Abu Kif, Tilaremi, the late Kif Tilaremi. Abu Chansa, Okonko, Chabupule, and Trophy Lagazi. There they were a lot of Makanya. And I was like, no, if, if you guys can help me and you know send me somewhere for a loan and everything. And then they didn't want me to leave, but then I ended up going to City Pillars. Oh, yes. So I think I spent a month there, City Pillars. Mm -hmm. And then after a month, it was far there. I think it was in Kwangua. Yeah. 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 Like so, yeah, I, I, I was not happy then I left. So by that time, I was very busy in contact with me. So okay. immediately when I got this side, then in November, I think it was November, then I left. I went to, to Devon, to Golden Hours, that's where I signed, and then started playing in January. But it was a problem again because I, I was belonging to Pirates. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So the chairman and Sis Mato, they, they knew each other a lot, so there was uh, some angry in there that, no, 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 you can take a player. And then, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. When you look back at your Eros time, what were your highlights there? I think winning many of the match, many of the matches four times in a row. Yeah, and then also becoming a player of the month with 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 golden hours. Yeah, scoring goals also because yeah. I was for the two seasons that I played there, I was always a top goal scorer for the team. So yeah, I was enjoying. I was enjoying my football, you know, under coach Manuel Miti. And you know the environment there it was also you know welcoming mm -hmm. because a lot of youngsters, talented ones. Mm -hmm. So the competition was always you know high there. So mm -hmm. we had to to push every time we get an opportunity to play. Yeah, yeah. And then I mean later on you you join Kaiser Chiefs. You know in in South Africa we 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 know that there are a lot of young guys. It's either you dream to play for Chiefs or you play for Pirates. You were Pirates. You didn't really get to play there. How, how, you know, you think of Chiefs, everybody when they say Abiy and Ali, we all think, oh, they can okay. play for Chiefs. Yeah. Tell us about your, your time there and just what was it like, you know, signing mm -hmm. for Chiefs? 
You know, I didn't even look back when I got a call that you know, Kiza Chiefs, they, they want to sign me. Mm. And then I think there they was three teams at that time. It was Chiefs, Pirates and Platinum Stars. Okay. And then, yeah, when I got there, you know, you see a different, you know, structure there. Mm -hmm. And then it's like you are in Europe, you know, they set up there and yeah. everything. And, and immediately, I think it was uh, December. When we, we had few meetings, we went to see Chairman, Mr. Koza, and then we went to to see uh, Mr. Mitawin also. And then I, I was happy with, with Kaiser Chiefs because I grew up supporting Kaiser Chiefs. So it was a dream come true to say, no, 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 I want to play here. Yeah. Even we can go negotiate with other teams just, just to show face, but yeah. you know, Your my, decision yeah, is made. yeah, it's here. And then, you know, and yeah, I think my first game was also my highlight with Kaiser Chiefs and that's when, you know, I think it was second half where I, I, I performed very well and then ended up being a man of the match. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Against Sundowns. Against Sundowns, yes, 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 my first game. So, I, 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 I was thinking even, you know, uh, scoring that on that game, it will be a cherry on top, but then, yeah, mm -hmm. creating your goal and dominating, also becoming one of the men, it was the highlight of my arrival at Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. And, and I mean, the seasons come, it's Kaiser Chiefs, you're playing for the biggest club, you become a known player. Um, what other things do you remember from your time there? Yeah, when the people started realizing me, it was not easy anymore because now they can plan for you and they can do this. Yeah. Unlike you, at hours, you just arrive and, yeah. you know, so yeah, we, we, we did well. I think I two three men of the match in the room. And then yeah, the team when I got there it was number nine on the leg and then we ended up, you know, uh, competing with Sundowns for, for the title. And yeah, we lost with the points, I think. One point or so. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. people a lot of people will remember though, um you know, that, that incident when you were substituted when Coach VV was in charge and there was that altercation between you and him. Just just take us back to that because from a distance, a lot of people would say, oh, this player does not respect the coach. No. But what happened there? I think uh, it didn't start there on the game. Okay. Yeah, during the game. Uh, and it was always something that he used to do, you know, even in training, you know, shouting, you know, criticizing, but he would blame, you know. What was, was he criticizing, though, about you? Was he criticizing you, the player, or your playing, or just... I couldn't understand. I didn't even want to ask because he will take me to play for the under-19s, you know, and we had this... Uh, I think it's reserve league. They yes, call it reserve yes. league before, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll play Monday's reserve league and then train with the team, the senior team, the senior team, and go to camp and play also the. And I didn't mind because also to play in the reserve league, it was helping me with the uh, match fitness yes, and then the confidence because I was scoring goals mm -hmm. that side and. So every every match that we played half time, if the team is not doing well. Yeah, he will be on my case. Even if it wasn't you who was not Yeah, there. yeah, he will be on my case. And then I remember the incident that happened. We play, we were playing Golden Hours. And remember, I was ju I just moved from Golden Hours. So, and he, he was telling me, I'm not listening to, to the instructions. But I created two goals for Junior to score, and we were leading 2 0. Mm -hmm. So when he, when he called me, he was telling me I'm not listening to him and everything. So I, I was asking him, Coach, what did I do? Because I've created two goals and then I, I, I think I was doing well. No, 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 you must go, you must go. You're not, you're not listening. So so this is what? This is in the dressing room or? No, 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 no. That incident. That incident. Okay. That incident. So I was like, hey, this, this, this guy has been doing this and I was still young, you know, and he was doing this every day. Uh, to me and I was like, I can't take it anymore. What, what happens, I'm just trying to understand, you have this coach who you feel is against you, is just on your case. Does he do it in front of the other players? 
Yeah. Not just the incident, I mean the, the, the yeah. whole. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And what do the senior sure. players say when that happens? I think that's that's the problem that we, we, we had, you know, with, with the, the, the senior players, you know, because they, they want to play also. Mm. Because if some youngster comes now, he wants to play, he wants to take your position, so mm. he won't even support. I think we, we were not supporting these youngsters a lot. Okay. That's why you see most of them, they, they don't even last for more than 10 years. Mm. They play three years and then the next two years you, you will see them you yeah, know, yeah. and then they won't play anymore because the, the support they don't they not get from, yeah. from, from, from us. So yeah. you didn't get the support as well when you were there at Chiefs in terms of standing up to, to the coach? No, 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 no. I think everyone was scared of him. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone was scared of him. So. So so yes so so take us take us back to that incident. Um, he takes you off and yeah. tells you you are not doing well. Yeah, and then yes, I I went to the I, sit, I was sitting on the bench. Then I asked the my my colleagues there, hey, what did I do wrong and everything? No no no, you know this guy he doesn't like you and everything. And then because now these things has been happening for for weeks even the months, and I was like I I can't take it anymore. Then you know I started being emotional there, and then I just left mm -hmm. the bench, you know, go shower, and then I went home straight. Mm -hmm. Was there any any case or meeting with the senior people at the club after that incident? Because it was a public incident, yeah. you know. The, were you ever called, or did you ever go to, to say maybe the team manager or even the chairman himself to raise? No, no, no. What I did, I just called one of the guys and asked them what's happening tomorrow. They said we're doing recovery at Centin. Those who started the game and everything. I was like, okay. Then I went to to Vision Active, uh, Centin, and then we were busy doing regeneration there. And then he came to me, asked me if I'm okay. I said, no, no, I'm fine. But you were not fine. Yeah, yeah, I know, no, I know. And then he he told me because that weekend we were playing derby. So he just told me, no, 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 if you're not fine, be okay, because you're starting over the weekend. Yeah. It's like, okay, no, no problem. Do you, do you, I mean, do you look back at that time under VV and think you probably should have stood up to him or should have just, because I'm thinking, you know, you are not fine. You've had a fight with this guy for a while and you have a fight on match day. On regeneration day, you tell him you are fine when you actually are not. Actually, I did. I did confront him because okay. remember I told you about the games that we were playing on Monday. Okay. Yeah. So even there, when we were doing some stuff, you know, uh, he will he will always you know point at me. No, it's not running. It's not doing this. It's not doing that. And I was like, I I asked him, do you have a problem with me? Mm. And he was like, hey. Why, why, why do I have a problem with you? I said, no, you're always on my case. Mm. I'm not training with your team. Your team is there, so let me work here. I'm going to play this afternoon. Mm. And then he was busy shouting there. Then I left. Okay. I left. Then I, coach, I called Coach Ace, excuse and asked him, where, where are we playing this afternoon? And he told me, no, we're playing uh, Swallows. Then I left. Then I went to play because they thought maybe I will I will go to to play the yeah. Okay. And then I went there and then after I asked for for I think we were playing. It was ours again, Bombela, mm -hmm. when they they lost two zero. But I was not playing. I was only constant. Mm -hmm. Then he came and he was shouting. And by that time I was busy studying, okay. so he was telling everyone in front. You know what? I I won't, I won't do favors anymore. You tell me about your studies and everything. I went and I missed about two, I think, final tests that I was supposed to write because I couldn't go oh, to so write. So yeah, and then you know I, I I requested a meeting with the uh, the chairman and everyone there. So I told them, you no, know, I don't think he's the father figure. Yeah. yeah. So I, I want to leave immediately and just to to go somewhere that I, I can even finish my studies. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So they asked him, did you tell this boy to not go to a right test? He said, yeah, I know I did. Sure. And they said, no, the coach will come to you tomorrow regarding this thing of you, you wanting to leave. And then the next day, we were fine. I was this boy, yes, my boy. <laughs> Good pass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, he didn't last long after yeah. that. And yeah.
Yeah. But you then stayed and they allow you to study and finish your studies? Yes, yes, I did. I did, yeah. I did what were you studying? Uh, at that time I was doing project. Yeah, it was project management. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. you've graduated? I've graduated project management because I started with uh, sports management when I was with parents. Okay. Yeah, and then I did uh, project management. Okay. So last yeah, this year I was doing with um, UCT uh, property and development investment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, yes. I have no time. You've also project. finished yeah. that. What? How are you using any of your qualifications somehow? No. I mean, no, no, not really. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. So, 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 what are you thinking? You know, property development management. Yeah, yeah, it's something that yeah I need to 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 look at it and you know just to be sure also uh, my field you know because the one of the things that we do as as soccer players we want to invest in something that we don't know yeah. and then we ended up you know losing monies and after football it's it's tough you yeah. know and yeah so those studies I wanted to see where do I fit you know yeah. Yeah. when I decided no I'm retired now then I can you know venture into that and then yeah yeah you 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 then left Chiefs you played for a few clubs I mean there was Aces there was a uh, Maritzburg you 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 I earlier think. referred to 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 the fact you know, yes in Ajax you referred to you said this guy was not a father figure um and you Played under Clive. You played other. Were the other coaches different in terms of how they handled you and the rest of the other players? I mean, are the coaches you look back and say, "This is the best coach I played under" in terms of how he handled you as a player? Yeah, Clive. Clive helped me also a lot, hmm. and yeah, even even Machine also helped me a lot because you know they understood me. Or, what kind of person I am because uh, I can be with them, with the rest of the team and be quiet, you know, and yeah, because I'm more reserved guy and yeah, they, they, they took the best out of me and I really enjoyed also my play with um, Black Aces under Clive Barker, yeah, that's where I think uh, I played the best since since uh, since I left Aquarian uh, hours, yeah. Mm. So so Abi I mean, you you when when you got to Chiefs, um, you get that you know it's Kaiser Chiefs one you grew up supporting the Chiefs. Um, they give you jersey number eleven. Uh, the great teenage lad that wore that jersey. I think before you Jabu had one Jabu they had played in it and Skarang Wabeza had also played in it. Very fleshy players. Did you feel any kind of pressure getting that jersey, or did it inspire you, excite you? Yeah, I was not even aware about the, what kind of jersey or the way that it comes with. You yeah, know, by the time because I think uh, first week I trained Monday and then uh, weekend we were going for camp. Then my bags were number 15, so I thought maybe ah, you've you know, got the doctor come on the Yeah, and even even in training, you know, I was not even using number 11. I only saw number 11 when we played uh, Sundowns for match day. Match day. Oh. That's when I saw, hey, oh, okay, 11. And and the, the teenage gladla, you no, know, the thing didn't come to didn't come mind. to only only when uh. A teenage came to to see me at village. Yeah, he, he came to see me and then he spoke to me, and then he was telling me, "No, you you one of us." You know, okay. I was like one of you. Okay. <laughs> what I, does that mean? Yeah, you know, I didn't understand. So when times goes on, and then I see people were talking about this number eleven, mm. the number eleven. I was like, yeah, no. And it's a privilege to, to wear that jersey number, especially for Kaiser Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And being there as, as one of the best players mm -hmm. to, to, to wear jersey number 11 at Kaiser Chiefs. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so you met, when you met Teenage, you were not aware who, who, were you aware who he is or? No, yeah. You know, to be honest, me and football, I, I, I didn't even know him. You loved the board, you followed the Chiefs. Which Kaiser Chiefs did you, I mean, you said you followed Chiefs. Which Kaiser Chiefs? 
Uh, did you watch any? Those ones, for, uh, who, who was playing there? Remember when Zenmiza was playing for Sundowns? Okay. Yeah. It was Dr. Kumar and, yeah. and um, yeah. Yeah. that era. Was yeah. Zen, was Zen your, your, your favorite player? No, sorry. We like those stars that he oh, was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think one of my favorite was uh, Dr. Kumalo, the late John Shoes, uh-huh. and um, yeah. So, so, so getting that okay. So, so getting that number fifteen bag, you thought okay, I'm wearing doctors, doctors. doctors yeah, but doctors. I didn't know that it, it comes with the weight also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like yeah. oh number fifteen, mm. and then even the guys there they were like. Hey. Hey, is so bland. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, ah, no, it's fine. It's just a number. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, number doesn't play football, so you have to prove yourself yeah. inside the. Um, when I got there, just number eleven, and first game in front of a uh, fully packed stadium, and never. So I, I didn't even want to touch the ball, you know. Thanks for to to use this guy Mazzini. I think he was a captain by the time. Yes. Yeah, he gave me some nice touches there, mm-hmm. and then he was all over the place down. I was like, hey, no, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> now. Yeah, and yeah. That's when I started to get confident. confident. Yeah, yeah, the confidence yeah. was there, and then yeah, I created the goal. Then you know, yeah, after the game, everyone was happy. Even Sismato phoned me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so. Of season, I went. I always go to visit him. The, I visit him. Martin, okay. Yes, it's smart when yeah. we will talk football and everything. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so she's she's played a, a role in your career clearly. Yeah, she's a very very yeah. big one. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, no, no. I will I will lie. She helped me a lot, and she was the one that understood me after Mister Oki Magana passed on. Yeah. So. He, he knew what kind of person I am, wow. and then yeah, he will help me. I'll, I'll go to him because we were not even earning a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. I'll go to her and then say, Sissy, man, I, I want to, to, to buy a house there in front of bed. And she would be like, How are your friends are buying cars? When now you want to buy a house? I, I said, No, I don't want to go. When I go home, uh, off season, to go to my mom's place, yeah. I want to be at my house. You yes. know? And then yeah, she supported me, she That's gave nice. me money to deposit and, oh, and everything good. you know mixed made sure everything went well and then second season i was like no 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 i want to fix my mom's house oh you're not even buying a car people they know you you only you want to go <laughs> to training with the taxes i was like i'm fine mm-hmm. yeah as long as my mom she's okay yeah and yeah so yeah she did play a, a very big role so you bought this home when you were still at errors or is it a different one now? Different one. No, oh, when okay. I left, when I left, I was, then I, I bought this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your mom's place. Your mom's place, Kakos Bouquet. Kakos Bouquet, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, what, what, what is that? I mean, you, you, you clearly cut from a different cloth from other players. Because like you say, the first thing we buy is a BMW or this or this. Mm-hmm. Even when you got to Chiefs, um, I mean, you probably had a car by then, but didn't you feel the pressure to, you know, you see in the parking lot, there's all these nice cars? No, I was worried about where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, most importantly, and mm-hmm. because the value of these things, they, they just go thirty minutes after you buy a car. The minute it goes out, hundred thousand gone. Mm-hmm. So, cars and clothes, you know, this fancy lifestyle, I it was not my thing. That's why I I, I didn't even have you know friends in football. Yeah, the only person that I I used to go out with it was Tifo, Masha Oh yes, okay. yeah, yeah. Tifo, because he also was a very grounded person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we clicked a lot with him. Mm. It's it's is it is it the way you were brought up that you 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 realized that all these things don't matter. You need to prepare for your future, because it's very uncommon in soccer players to to think the way you do. Yeah, I think also you know respecting the talent because it's a god given talent you know because every time i go there it's, it was like you know i'm praising god sometimes you can't even go to church mm-hmm. but he gave you the talent mm-hmm. and then i was using that just to to, to praise him thanking mm-hmm. him with the talent and then whatever that i was receiving you know 
it, it was for me, from him, you know, Sibuki. not to, to show off people and go to Sibuki and there with uh, yeah, BMWs yeah. and okay. buy champagnes and yeah, mm. with a lot of girls behind there. So yeah. I, I, my thinking was like, you know, this is a short term career, so I must make use of it. In t instead of going clubbing, it's better, you know, to, to go hunt. Train, you know, mm. try to improve this God given talent and yes. you know, to, to be to always be step ahead, you know, mm. and everything so that you can last maybe 10, 15, or 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. And I suppose then that's that's why you've been able to continue even after football because a lot of guys, besides the financial issues and all yeah. that, mentally, when when they when it ends, they just can't cope. Um, yeah. So you've managed to just stay sane because you understood that it's something that will not last forever. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it was not easy. It was not easy because uh, and then even if you you try to start something, business or whatever, my thinking was like it took me maybe ten years or eight years to become a professional soccer player. So whatever that I will start. It's possible that it can take that much, that much. Yeah. and then from eight years that I took before I become a professional, what I was doing, I was working hard, you know, trying to improve. So even if I want to start something, business or something, it will be like that. First year, second year, fourth year, fifth, things won't go. But I will, I have to to work hard and then, yeah. So it's I suppose it's exactly what you are saying now that with with the property development things. You, you are not thinking, I'm a beer, I'm getting into business, it must succeed. You know that it needs the foundation. It will take time. It will take time. That's, do, you, do you speak to any young players to share this kind of wisdom? Because it's very lacking. Um, you know, our youngsters, a lot of them get turned professional very early without, mm -hmm. you know, they get in and the excitement, like you say, um, in the PSL, a car. Do you ever talk to youngsters about this kind of things? Are there any youngsters in your space that you share all this with? Yeah, I, I did from, I think most of them, and they're doing well now. Um, from Marisberg, Lebo, uh, Maboe. Oh, yes. Maboe, Makaringe, even Ndovu, yes. even for Pirates. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I used to talk to them a lot, even sometimes, you know, Text them you know, mm -hmm. after the game. Yeah, I know you did well. Okay. Yeah, and, and and now we're trying to 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 talk to the the academy ones, mm -hmm. the, my uncle's academy. So yeah, we we talk to them, but you know sometimes it's not easy. Mm -hmm. These boys, you talk to them today, tomorrow they do different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose you can only just share. It's it's like yeah. you say you're planting a seed. Whether yeah. it grows, it's not your yeah. place. Where now you've planted. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's, look, thank you, thank you so much, Abia, um, for your time. Um, and we wish you all the best. Um, you know, football is all the poor without you. I think. Um, and men with your experience and yeah. talents and yeah. could be used somewhere in the game. But we're very grateful that you afforded us this opportunity. Okay, no. Thanks. Thanks.